A long time ago, there was a big pile of treasure in the desert, and the Volt Hunters found it and killed all the bad guys. The end. No, 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 that's not how you start a story. I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed this week. Now, this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blade's lost treasure of the sands, of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it, of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it, of a monstrous leviathan, of the Vault Hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See? That's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. Welcome to my lovely town of Oasis, stranger. Now, if, if you could please save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water! same as I am. So, we've got two options. We can work together and split the treasure, or we could just try to kill one another. Or maybe both! Come find me in Wormwater, yeah? I am Shade, and you... You are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. People of Oasis, thank you. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. She's set up in Wormwater. You'll need a sand skip to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. Much work for you today, my friend. Have you met my friend Frank? He is a very gruff man and an alcoholic. Yes, it is a tragedy. He becomes very irate if he is not given the finest whiskey. Could you please procure some from the merchant caravans nearby?
Grace and Skiff just randomly explode, forcing you to stay in Oasis and hang out with me some more? Darn. Well, my other friends out in the flats might have some sand skiff parts for you. They are very nice and alive. Go talk to them. But be careful. If you step on the flat sands out there, the sand grubs will hear you and eat you, and then you won't be able to hang out with me. feel like a piece of meat around her. I gave her a coolant disperser several weeks ago as a gift. Take it! Could I please be getting surprised with that shake? You are so attractive. <laughs> Only a few more sand skiff parts and you'll be on your way to Captain Scarlet and the Lost Treasure! How fun that you'll be leaving me alone! <laughs> for the sand skiff. Well, hey, how you doing? They call me Jocko the Joker. I'm a laugh a minute. Hey, what's the difference between a skag and a lack of water? There isn't one because they'll both kill you. <laughs> for one of his comedy bits the other day. Find it, and it is yours. and not that from thirst. How are you? Ah, uh, you've met Lionel. How are you, Lionel? Not dead of thirst. Ha 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 ha. Oh, tell me about it. How is your family? Well, they... End of tape. That is a great story, Lionel. Friend, I believe he has an engine capacitor stashed somewhere nearby. It's yours! Huh? <gasps> <laughs> Please, attach those parts you retrieved to the sand skiff. Then you may scan it and summon one from any catch or ride machine.
ride system if you want <laughs> there you may now destruct a sand skiff from any catch or ride machine before you go off to meet captain scarlet though you must return to me I had no reason to call you back. I just enjoyed your presence. Ooh, ready to turn that in? Captain Scarlet has been tracking the treasure of the sands for several years. You should sail out to meet her in your sand skiff. Many jobs for you. You have met Jocko, yes? He is a simple man with very big dreams. He, he wishes to be a sand pirate, you see. I'm sure he would love it if you could give him some piratey prosthetics. Uh, teeth, peg legs, things of this sort. Much work for you today, my friend. Friend, I have a sensitive matter. You have met Natalie, yes? The town sex pot? She and I, you could say, are an item. I plan to make her my wife, but I lost the engagement ring. Could you find it for me? Please. My great grandma used to be a sand pirate around these parts, but I don't want anybody to know that. Her old ship is just outside of Oasis. I need you to scuttle it and erase any evidence of the creepy stuff my grand -gram used to do. Go get the explosives I stashed for you. Hey, vault hunter guy. Need your help. My grandma used to be friends with Captain Blade, the guy who buried the treasure. He left his pet stalker to my grandma when he died, and she took care of it and stuff. But then she died and left it to me, and I'm like, I don't want to take care of a friggin' stalker. They're gross. So go kill it for me. It's an oasis somewhere. Huh? <laughs> for agreeing to destroy Graham Graham's old ship. I don't want to tell you the kind of stuff she was guilty of, but let's just say it rhymes with child schmafficking with some schmanibalism on the side.
can find out I was ever related to that child schmafficking bitch. Get back to the bounty board whenever you're done here. I mean, I don't really care, but whatever. you got the whiskey. Frank was beginning to get violent. Please return the drinks to him. Accessories, so you may fulfill your lifelong fantasy of being a sand pirate, which was cut short thanks to a tragic childhood injury. Why did the skag cross the road? Because there was water on the other side of the road. <laughs> he laughs to keep from crying. It is so very, very sad. <laughs> Huh? 
Enough. Myself. Could you do me the favor of asking Natalie to marry me? fake execution today. One of the cooks was caught stealing from the treasure hole, so I had to pretend to kill him to keep the rest of the crew in line. Gave him enough cash to disappear, shot him overboard of the blank. <sighs> Keeping up this face some Captain Blade routine's a hell of a lot of work. Gibberish. 
Please return to me, friend. I fear Frank is beyond help. Perhaps I should do a... What is the word? Intervention. Finished that task? Wonderful! Please don't leave. I'm lonely. Oh, these pirate things are so wonderful. Jocko will love them almost as much as he loves telling those hilarious jokes and not being dead of thirst. I goddamn hate my great grandma. Here, money. Oh, shade. Marriage. This is moving so fast. And you know, I don't believe in marriage. I'm sorry, shade. But the answer is no. She said no? Oh, woe is me. I gave you my heart, Natalie. Return to me, friend. At least you have not betrayed me yet. Guns! I got them, you need them. Thank <laughs> you. 
coming from Oasis. That's a... All right, well... Sandman wants your part of the compass, bitch. Hand it over. And I'm being attacked. Great. Wonderful. Hey, stranger, you give me a hand with Sandman's boys. I'll make it worth your while, all right? Nice moves out there. You're a vault hunter, yeah? Never met one of you guys before. The guns, the power, it's all very striking. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you've come to the right chick. But, God, oh, I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself to that a lot. Sorry. I'm, um, Captain Scott. Nice to meet ya. Right, I should probably get you up to speed on the legend of the treasure, eh? So, the legends say that whoever gets all four pieces of a mystical compass will find the lost treasure. I've got a piece, because I'm awesome, but Sandman has one too. Head to Hater's Folly, kill Sandman, and get his piece of the compass. Sound good? Mercer here. I just finished cooking up a badass meal of gasoline and shoe polish, but nobody can enjoy it with Shiv Spike around. Have you met Shiv Spike? He's our radio operator. You should go meet him. This is to the jackass who just arrived in Oasis. We don't take kindly to independent treasure hunters around here. We're Union Sand Pirates. Now, we're calling you out, scab. Our Union versus you. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. Hey, I'm Mercer, the cook for this dumbass crew. You know the number two top killer of sand pirates? Scurvy. Number one is self-inflicted gunshot wounds, but that ain't really my department. Give me some fruit, will ya? Damn, is it dry out here? <laughs> I will puke blood into your soul! Kind of an asshole, isn't he? And beyond that, he smells like a corpse somebody vomited up. I want to feed Shiv Spike to the sand grubs, but he stinks so bad they won't eat him. <laughs> Get some condiments. We gotta make Shivy look appetizing. closing.
hell's a vault hunter doing out here? Found some fruit. Good. Now. Oh, 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 for the love of... Sorry, Murray just shot himself in the leg. Hey, Murray, know what'll cheer you up? Some vitamin C. Sandman ate my parents. Oh, suck it up, Murray.
Got some condiments? Great. Bring that stuff back here and we'll try to mask the stink. How about that? Second thought, 
Maybe you could share treasure hunting turf with the Union? Uh, hell yes, you're the best. Hell yes, you're the... Don't worry about Murray, he'll be fine. Until he finds out I'm the one who killed his parents. But they were dicks, so whatever. Just slather Shiv Spike in those condiments. It'll be gross, but at least uh, it'll... <laughs> I guess it'll just be gross. Your lungs will hold my future children! Great. Now just push them in and let the sand grubs do the rest. I am a sentient collection of hatred and... You know, I think I'm gonna miss him. Anyway, good job. Come on back. Actually, you know what? I don't miss him at all. <laughs> Can't blame him. Buries a treasure trove of guns anyway. out some new catchphrases. Let me know if any of these grab you. Yar! A vast matey! Yo-ho-ho! -ho. Hoist the mainsail! Rock the plank! Shovel me timbers! Oh, no, that one didn't work at all. Sir Hammerlock here with a bit of a job for you. I've heard tell some creature is sneaking around Hater's Folly, stealing treasure, slicing off faces and the like. Sounds terribly interesting. Hunt it down, would you? I'm sending you to kill Sandman rather than do it myself. First of all, good question. Glad to see you, you know, taking the initiative. Second of all, Sandman's pretty strong and you're expendable as hell, so good luck!
So, there's a lot of water under the city of Oasis. <laughs> what a, a surprise! <laughs> oh, sorry, I hacked into your Echo device shortly after we met, so I can see everything you can. I get horrifically bored, and it's fun to watch you kill people. Overburdened by money, you're my millionth customer! Don't let it go to your head. Two words, my friend. No refunds. is dying of thirst. <laughs> Otherwise, the sight of that enormous spring might fill me with a tragic rage. <laughs> find this creature, please deal with it quickly. The poor fellow who echoed me about the situation and Jesse. Well, the creature wore his face like a cross. See about stapling Jesse's face back onto his skull.
back when Sandman and I were like this. Oh, right. You can't see through the radio. I'm crossing my first two fingers like this. Best buds. Until we stumbled upon some of Captain Blade's old notes about the lost treasure, that is. Together, Sandman and I found two pieces of Captain Blade's mystical compass. Then, because I'm an idiot, I tried to stab him in the back. Literally, the knife blade snapped, he shot me in the leg and ran. It was pretty embarrassing, but that's when I learned never betray your friends until you're sure you've got the upper hand. should have died when I told you to. Now you're gonna learn that big pain... ...comes from small packages! Chill back here and read the latest issue of Crime Fighter Frog. It's about a I frog fighting some trinket. <laughs> They're gonna ship it out on a caravan in the worm water. I've just got it. Oh, great. That jackass from Oasis is coming after me. BRB diary. Well, wow, that's lucky. Come on back to worm water so we can get the third compass piece and be that much closer to finding the treasure. That is beautiful.
to kill. They found him sitting around an oasis while I guarded the boat. After they strung him up, they got to talking. Found out I'd never killed another soul in my life. My guess is they'll raid the treasure room for guns and shoot me when my back's turned. Might as well let them do it. I'd rather be killed than have to wipe out my own men. And this will be my last log entry. Captain Blade. Signing off.
Jules, you don't have to help me staple Jesse's face back on because he's dead. Hemophilia ho. looted sand barges and zero casualties. I think the men are starting to unravel. They want to kill stuff. They want to split the loot and head their separate ways. They don't seem to get the fact that our whole operation isn't about greed or bloodlust. It's about survival. We stop robbing ships, we starve. We split up, we die. I won't let that happen.
That is lovely. You're... you're... awesome! We're probably gonna kill each other later, but for now, I just want to say... Well done. We only need one more compass piece before we can find the lost treasure. Come on back! Down, one to go. Once the compass is fixed, we'll find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. I don't know where the last part of the compass is, but I know someone who might. His name is Herbert, and he lives out in the rust yards. Take that gift box over there. Hold on to that gift, and don't give it to Herbert until I tell you to. Now go meet up with him. Off with you now. My men deserted the ship when Sandman attacked. Could you kill them, please? Deserters really bug me, since I only have one rule on my ship. If you join, it's for life. That and no fatties. <laughs> sorry, that was supposed to be a joke. I... Yeah, sorry. again sometime. I really miss Bowser's number 7 through 13.
That was enjoyable. Once you get all four pieces of the compass, I'll kill you and take it for myself. Wrong. Even once complete, the compass still needs to be taken to a very super secret location before it will reveal where Blade's treasure is buried. You can rest easy for now.
that's what we get. The guy you're looking for, I brought him on board a few months back because he's stupidly knowledgeable about Captain Blade's treasure. Then I kicked him off because you'll... you'll see. This will be <laughs> Oh, if Hella asks about me, don't say shack up there on that ledge. Take the elevator up, knock on the door, and prepare for a smell straight out of your nightmares.
Hold on a second. Scarlet, is that you? No, oh, you're not Scarlet. But I can taste her scent on you. She wants the last compass piece, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. Let's talk, you and me. How is Scarlet? Is she as beautiful as when I last saw her? Oh, how the light caught her hair. If I help you complete the compass, Scarlet will be so happy. Oh, yes. But no, the compass alone won't do. She needs to know how much I care. The tapes. Yes. Get the tapes. Get the tapes. I'll mark them on your echo. something like this would happen. Just collect his little love letters as quick as you can, sorry. Got a nice chest. 
your face is okay to no six syllables dice oh it's ruined god damn it huh sometimes. Scarlet caught a crewman stealing from her. She's so honorable. Through my telescope, I saw her give him a gun to defend himself. As she ran him through with her sword, I knew. I knew she's the one.
myself I'd let him kill me but I, I couldn't let it I, I fought back I dare get sticky with their blood today they finally met the fearsome Captain Blade to return them to him and wash your hands afterward. Ugh. the tapes once you deliver those with the last piece of the compass scarlet will have to take me back the last compass piece is in that chest ah must be rusted rusty rusty just shoot the lock Shot destroyed the last piece of the legendary compass. Whoops. Looks like when you shot the lock, you blasted the final compass piece into bits. Okay, this is bad. Um, no, wait! Uh, I can make a replacement! I just need parts. Just get to the Washburn Refinery. Go, go, go!
really can't understate just how unserious I was being about the no fatties thing. I actually prefer overweight men. What's up, yo? This here scooter coming at you from Sanctuary. I needs me some old ass scraps from y'all's rust yard to keep the city's engines a turning. If it's sturdy, metallic, and can give you lead poison just from looking at it, uh, grab it and ship it my way, all right? like that. sexually explicit materials. Please murder him, because morality.
This build is disgusting. I will determine the exact mathematical level of its disgustingness after further study. Your staring is inappropriate. Echo software piracy eats away at the moral fabric of society. Several sand pirates have bootlegged copies of the latest Echo simulation programs, murder them, and retrieve the ill-gotten goods.
Could shoot the user in the space. A robot can dream. Success. Huh? <laughs> 
Crichton, gimme! And this goes there, and tighten that, cut that down just a hair, aha! Here you go, the last piece of the compass. Now give that to Scarlet, along with the tapes, and she'll love me again. And if she doesn't, I'll follow her, and I'll smell her, and I'll just make her love me. <laughs> you got the compass piece? Great. Now give her about that little gift I gave you and come on back. How does Scarlet look? Does she look good? I bet she looks good. A gift? From Scarlet? I knew it! I knew she cared! <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Herbert. Oh, I forgot to mention you were carrying a rather large bomb around with you, didn't I? Many apologies. Now, just bring back that last compass piece so we can find out where the treasure's buried.
couple take at least a week to digestruct back to sanctuary, but I'll go ahead and pay you up front, because I'm that kind of guy. Uh-huh. You're welcome. Herbert. <sighs> Time to assemble the compass and find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. Here, this is my piece of the compass. Take it. Now, combine it with the other three pieces of the compass you've collected on that table over there. God damn there it is! Thirsty. The compass of the sands. Please grab it. And now we've treasure to find. Take the compass to Magnus Lighthouse. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I love a man who can go very fast. Go drive your skiff around in circles very quickly. I find this sexually attractive. Magnus Lighthouse a few years before he died. His notes say that if you take the compass to the top of the lighthouse, it'll show you exactly where the treasure is buried. Of course, Blade's notes also had a lot to say about society being secretly run by sentient tacos. He kind of went off the rails there near the end. so very fast. Come back to me so I can tell you how great you are. Very good at 
driving fast. Va, 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 boom. I am sexually... You are attractive to me. Thank you.
Elijah before me, which you won't, of course, Silence. but just in case. Be careful of the Leviathan. It ain't Roscoe, as I may have already mentioned, and Blade's notes say it will die to protect the treasure chamber. Close we are to finding the treasure, and he sounds rather miffed. Pretty awesome, right? Huh? <laughs> 
lighthouse? Lovely! Just find somewhere to place Blade's compass, and we'll find out exactly where the treasure is buried. whatever traps there might be in the treasure chamber. I will not betray you until we find the treasure room. I'm hiding the blasted treasure. It got my entire crew killed. But if you want to die looking for it, have fun. This is Captain Blade. Signing off for good.
quality, low prices, and no questions asked. Don't die, I need your business. The Leviathan swallowed us. The good news is it's taking us to the treasure room. But the best news is, do you remember my pet Roscoe? I found him! You killed Roscoe! What a shame! Oh well, discretion's the better part of running away. Till we meet again, Vault Hunter! Oh, damn, I dropped my pistol. Do me a favor and don't grab it, would you? Because that would be stealing. Stealing is wrong. Whoa. the story of how the Vault Hunters defeated the treacherous Captain Scarlet and slew the Leviathan. And as the sun set on Pandora, the Vault Hunters realized that while they'd found Captain Blade's lost army, the true treasure of the sands had been inside them all along. The end. How was that? That last part was really hokey. Yeah, it felt kind of contrived, didn't it? Extremely. But otherwise, you ended that story pretty well for a dirty little orphan. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. I gotta teach somebody to tell these stories when I'm gone. Might as well be you. Yeah. I love you, Marcus. That's weird.
Ah! <sighs> 